I've been asked a complex question as to what gives me the most hope, what gives me uh, the most excitement uh, ab about uh, visual snow research and information. I, I have to be honest and say here that, uh, that visual snow for me has been both a clinical conundrum but also an opportunity to try and understand how the brain works uh, in integrating sensory information with uh, responses. So I find the most exciting thing has actually been trying to understand how the brain works. From the perspective of the visual snow syndrome itself, the most exciting thing has been working out uh, what is going wrong in individual patients and how this relates to their symptoms and also seeing that you have a dramatic influence on people's life by telling them they're not crazy uh, and that's what they have been told beforehand so that's been almost a revelation going forward I'm very optimistic that over the next five years we'll have a much better understanding of why and how this happens and I think we will be starting to test meaningful therapies of more than one type uh, that will have an influence on people's lives to a greater degree. It's important to realise that many of the patients with visual snow syndrome actually don't need treatment, they just need explanation and they can cope with their symptoms because they're not too intrusive. But there's a small percentage of people who are disabled by their symptoms and those are the people that we have to help and I'm hopeful uh, about there being a reasonable opportunity to do that.